Okay, this is going to get a little weird, so if you have to turn away, I understand. But I wanted to show you what a couple of my favorite breakfasts, and uh, that will also go very well with prepping. One of my favorite breakfasts is cooked wheat. Now, my wife just came in, I think she put in two cups of wheat, and this is in water. And that's it. She puts it in the crock pot and she lets this uh, slow cook for about, well, between six and eight hours. How much uh, wheat did you put in here, honey? Two cups. Two cups and how much water? Four cups. Four cups of water, two cups of wheat, and are you going to put some salt in? Yes. So she's putting in some sea salt, which uh, we like the flavor uh, of sea salt. And then she'll just let this cook for, what, six to eight hours? Eight. Eight hours. By then, all the water's gone out of it, and it's kind of, uh, the wheat is, is um, um, nice and, and plump, and it's awesome. It's, it is a great tasting breakfast. And then I'll put that in a bowl, and usually have um, strawberries or some kind of fruit on it. Now, we don't have, uh, I just grabbed, breakfast myself this morning so I didn't uh, get any strawberries out of the refrigerator but this is another one of my um, breakfasts that I really enjoy and we've got shredded wheat then we got some what is this flax flax and pumpkin seed granola flax and pumpkin pumpkin seed granola and then we've got some uh, rice drink now the great thing about rice drink, first of all, it's non-dairy. Um, I'm not a, uh, and this is what's going to be weird also is I'm not a big um, animal uh, eater at all. I don't, you know, ice cream is an exception, but uh, I, I prefer non-dairy products, uh, non-beef products. But that's just me. And like I said, if it gets too weird, you can just have you just have to look away. But one good thing about this uh, rice drink is that it stores on the shelf for uh, like a year. And you don't have to reconstitute it. It's a uh, great tasting. It's low calorie. Of course, it doesn't have uh, the cholesterol. and It's got zero saturated fats and all that other stuff. So I'm not going to go on, you know, why I drink this, but I, I enjoy it. Uh, we do have powdered milk in our food storage. We bought that. I don't know, 15, 20, 30 years ago. And we, like I mentioned in other videos, we have some from other people that uh, gave it away. But uh, I'm a pretty simple um, breakfast eater. And my meals, uh, generally for dinner, we'll have um, a nice gr big uh, green garden salad. Um, my wife is different. She likes her eggs uh, for breakfast. Um, what do you usually have? Eggs and something else? Eggs and a green smoothie. Eggs and a green smoothie. So maybe we'll have to do a green smoothie video for those of you who don't know what a green smoothie is. But uh, anyway, I recommend you give this a try. If you haven't had cooked wheat before, it's really easy. The, the reason why this is a good prepper food is because this is something you simply put in the uh, solar oven and just let it set out there all day um, while you're doing other things. And you've got a great, hearty, filling, nutritious breakfast with uh, basically no labor. One thing I'd like to find out is what are your favorite breakfasts or prepper breakfasts and how do you prepare them? We'd love to uh, find out what uh, you like for breakfast and we can give that a try here at our home. And if you didn't include how, do you, how you prepare them, that would be helpful too. Uh, if you want to do a video re response, that would be awesome. If not, just uh, make a comment below and any information would be appreciated. We'll uh, start maybe swapping some recipes. Thanks for your help. This is LDS Prepper out.